Fendi Ganja Crew, Triple Cheese. Hey, Ooh. yeah, let's go to the mountain. More than one glass of milk today. That emerged on the internet. What on their pressurized spacesuits? Wearable devices. So these are brain sensors uh, that are starting to be embedded in everyday devices, but until now have been a number of niche companies that really have focused on mindfulness and meditation. The use of, for example, brain sensors that can pick up electrical activity in the brain at a pretty low resolution, but advances in AI have both improved what the signal is that can come from the brain um, and enabled the miniaturization uh, of those products. As a lot of the major tech companies start to invest um, in these brain sensors, it's a huge, I think, untapped market in many ways of integrating them into everyday devices. These are earbuds or watches or headphones and the soft cups around the ears. Many of those products are hitting the market this year and others are hitting them within the next two years such that people can listen to music, a phone call, etc., while having those devices in ears. Initially, what they will be capable of doing is very high-level brain state reading. Things like, are you tired? Are you paying attention? Is your mind wandering? Are you happy or sad? Um, they maybe enable interaction like up, down, left, right for interaction with other technologies. And they're being embedded into things like um, visual, uh, virtual reality headsets. Bro, this could help me out. They're gonna zap the ideas right into my brain. Oh boy, the smart dust is real. Guys, welcome back. You're watching Explore the Weird. We're about to get to some creepy and weird for you page content. If that is you, make sure you interact with the video. A true goon interacts before the video even started. All right, let's keep it going. More than one glass of milk today increases your risk of ovarian cancer by 300%. Three glasses of milk per day increases the risk of lung cancer by 200% and of prostate cancer by 250%. In Norway, they did a study and they found that two glasses of milk a day increased your risk of developing lymphoma by three and a half times. Osteoporosis, milk interferes with calcium absorption and milk's high protein causes calcium losses. Countries with the highest milk consumption have the highest osteoporosis. Milk destroys your bone. Osteoporosis is virtually unknown outside of the dairy-consuming country. Bro, I'm trying to figure out what country is not drinking dairy. You know, it's like, come on, everyone starts with milk somewhere. All right, interesting. I'm not sure about the cheese, but the milk makes sense. Wait, milk and cheese are... No, we're gonna keep it going. I guess I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm a firmament believer. If you're going to keep it going. Is there a connection between portals and the Euler disc? Check out this video and tell me what you think. This demonstrates how mass and momentum can affect motion. And this can actually be broken down into a mathematical equation. And at first I thought, nah. But then whenever I watched this video, it opened up my mind to think that space, time, and motion that we understand is very limited. So you can see as it spins, it's actually moving in the opposite direction of the way that it's spinning. And it looks as if it is opening a portal. Now imagine. Guys, I was trying to see where the portal was being opened. I just seen something just like spinning and trying to stop spinning or something. I'm not sure. I haven't looked into this. Someone tell me what's really going on. Guys, 
Yo, what the heck is this special effects? It's why did they always look different every video? Is there different different species? I'm just trying to understand. I'm just trying to understand. What would happen if you gave up sugar for two weeks? You will notice first that your face is going to get visible. That is because inflammation starts to go down. You're going to see four main organs start to repair because they're highly sensitive to sugar. First, you're going to see your eyesight get better. Then you're also going to see your brain is going to get much better, your mood, your cognition. You're also going to see your kidney function get better and your artery and blood pressure get better. It's going to decrease the urination at nighttime. So if you're getting up frequently more than a couple times a night, you're going to see that noticeably go down. You're going to see your energy levels go up. Instead of relying on calories coming in, you're going to be relying on the food storage on your body. You're going to see your cravings between meals go away. You're going to see less stiffness, pain, and inflammation. Sugar is highly inflammatory. Your skin will improve, including acne and red-like skin, similar to rosacea. You're going to see a reduction in belly fat, especially this visceral fat. You will see an improvement in insulin resistance, which is the root cause for most lifestyle diseases. Work on cutting out processed foods and sugars, and you will start to see a lot of these health conditions get better. Oh, wow. Never knew this. I don't know if I can go two weeks without sugar because it's just in everything. Everything has it in some way, shape or form. Oh, it's not regular sugar. It's that alcoholic sugar. Wait, what? We're going to keep it going. There was a very interesting study on rats that I want to tell you. And there's three groups of rats. And in the first group, they fed lard and alcohol to these rats. Lard is pig fat. Second group, they fed beef fat. It's called tallow and alcohol to these rats. And then in the third group, they fed them corn oil and alcohol. Now, what's interesting is the first group, the lard and the alcohol, had minimal damage to the livers. And then this test, they were testing for like liver damage and then the development into a fatty liver because there was alcohol involved. The first group that had pig fat, lard, and alcohol, they had minimal damage to the liver. The next group with the tallow, beef fat, and alcohol, they had virtually no damage to the liver. What does that mean? That means that beef fat could potentially be protective to the liver. That's one idea. That's interesting. It's actually fascinating, especially since I consume a lot of beef fat in my diet and I don't seem to have a lot of liver problems anymore. But then the third group, rats that were fed corn oil and alcohol, guess what happened to them? Not good. Severe liver damage. The most damage of all three groups. Wow, that is crazy. I never knew this. So alcohol was the staple in all three. So you start to wonder that as well. What is it actually doing? Is it sometimes helpful in moderation? Video that emerged on the internet, an alleged encounter between a man and an extraterrestrial. These extraterrestrial aliens are showing up everywhere. You got the one that showed up in Vegas. You got the ones from Area 51. You got King Charles. Now you got this guy. Wow, yeah, this looked scary. I don't know the context of this, but it looks like uh, I guess there's more and more appearing. The veil is being lifted. We are seeing everything. By the way, are you a goon? Did you interact with the video before the video even started? All right, we're going to keep it going. We have video documentation from medicineless hospitals in Beijing, China. And we can look into the body of a living woman with a cancerous tumor that Western science says is inoperable. And then we can watch as three practitioners that understand the language of human emotion. They're not looking at that tumor as an illness. They see that woman as whole, healthy, vital, completely enabled, fully capacitated. And as they feel that feeling strongly among themselves, her physical body mirrors that. And we can see it through sonograms. We can see that tumor disappear in less than three minutes. And that's how quickly reality can change. Wow, I, what is this like Reiki healing? Like what type of healing are they doing over there? I don't understand. This is crazy if it's true. This is crazy if it's true. I've heard of uh, frequencies helping in the aid of regrowth and recovery now i don't know how they're doing it i want to know more i want to know more well 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 it looks like we've solved the mystery of the antarctica blood falls 
it turns out that it actually is blood. Now it took them a hundred years to figure out that the Taylor Glacier gets its red color from nanospheres of iron that is deposited into the water. And once that iron hits the oxygen, it turns red. And then in the article, they go on to say that the ancient microbes are a hundredth of the size of human red blood cells. Now, I think it was pretty weird that they used the red blood cell example to describe the size of the iron deposits. It looks to me as if this is another example of the truth being set in plain sight. The blood falls arise when the ice over the subglacial ecosystem over here melts. Now, here's what I think. I think that the subglacial ecosystem is a part of the deceased Leviathan that people have been talking about all over TikTok and have been showing on Google Earth. I think that there was a giant beast that died underneath or just on top of Antarctica. And then once it froze over, it held all that blood in place. And just in case you forgot, the reason why blood turns red is because the iron meets the oxygen and combines to form a red color. So whatever creature those blood falls were made out of, it had to have Yo, what the heck? This is one crazy theory, but it kind of making sense a little bit. Oh man, does it have to be the Leviathan? Can it just be like a bunch of giants or dinosaurs that just pulled there? Hollow Earth being a thing, and we're gonna keep it going. Oh my God, I'm spiraling. Pyramid magnets have been a real fascination. There's some people who think that the geometric shape of a pyramid has some mystical powers to it. And I'm not sure if that's true, but I do know what they can do with magnetic fields. Here's one of the ones that is my largest pyramid magnet. This is four inches tall. It has a three quarter inch square top, and it has a four inch square base. This is about a nine pound magnet and is extremely powerful. As the magnetism is traveling through the material in a period, it would normally want to come out through the sides, but it sees that its ability to stay inside the material, the material has a much higher permeability than air. And so it stays in and it intensifies the field on this end. What we've done is reduce the cross-sectional area by a factor of four. Now you don't get a 4X multiplication of your strength, but to have a static magnetic field that is approaching a Tesla covering three quarters of an inch is quite an enormous magnet. Whoa, that is crazy. I never knew you could do the power of the magnet like by changing the fields as he did or the angles and making the points stronger on one end. That is crazy. That is crazy. One. So, no one trusts the government. Point being, why would you trust your kids to be educated by the government? Right. Vody Bachman said, uh, don't be surprised when you send your kids off to Caesar and they come back as Romans. Like, oh, that's it. That's it, man. You're wondering why everyone's gone woke and is, uh, has no idea uh, what bathroom to use anymore. Just if like, what happened to our kids? I'm like, well, you gave them to the government for, for their entire childhood. You saw them at dinner and you attended their sporting events, but the government raised your kids. And social media helped and video games or whatever, but you saw them every day, but you didn't raise them. You didn't log enough hours each day to counteract all the poison and time wasting and ideological propagandistic crap that they were getting fed year after year after year. And so millennial generation and now Gen Z has gone woke and we feel like, oh, what happened to my, my daughter? We raised him better than that. No, I mean this in love, but you didn't raise him at all. That hurts to say, cause I know it hurts people to hear, but the government raised him, and that's uh -huh. what happened. I'm not sure everyone's parenting style is different. They are only in school for X amount of hours. You still have a majority of control over them. So you still have some control, I would say. But hey, maybe he's onto something. 100 years, there's all new people, baby. Every 100 years, all new people. The people we're on Earth with right now, this is our crew, okay? Whole grand scheme of the universe, all the time, all the space. The people on Earth right now, this is a tiny little group, man, that we get to be a part of it, man. I'm in the grocery store, I see a fella, I think, God damn, I'm on Earth at the same time as that guy, man. I 
Yeah, you guys are the goons. We're the crew. How you doing, goons? It's always going to be me and you. It's always going to be me and you. Interesting. Interesting thought. And then every 200 years, it's a full reset. We'll never see exactly. Sober. How do we be sober? Well, obviously, we must not drink alcohol. We must not be under the influence of drugs. Our mind must be clear. Be sober. Be vigilant. Did you know that you can get drunk by overeating? Did you know that your brain does not function properly if you're dehydrated? You should be drinking water all through the day, little by little by little. Take water in the way God sends the rain, little by little by little. You will not be sober if you've had late nights. You will not be sober if you aren't exercising. You will not be sober if your windows aren't open while you're asleep. You will not be sober if you went to bed late. You will not be sober if your bedroom is surrounded with technology. If there's a phone under your pillow, you will not be sober. And that roaring lion, it can take you down. No wonder the Bible says, be sober. Do your part. Do everything you can to keep that mind clear so that you can hear the faintest whisper of the voice that spake as never a man spake. Be sober. Be vigilant. Knowing that your adversary, the devil, has a roaring lion, he's walking about seeing whom he can devour. Be on alert. Yo, is this Dr. Barbara O'Neill or is this some other lady? I'm sorry, did I do a thing? I'm not trying to do a thing, I'm just trying to figure it out. Be sober, I'm like 90% sober, 10% like button. Wait, maybe I'm 100% like, but never mind, never mind. Interesting, yeah, do what feels right for you. Read that again, Abdul. What? About uh, inflammation. 95% of all diseases start with inflammation. Mm -hmm. And the first thing your body uses, the one of the nutrients it uses to turn off inflammation is omega-3. Omega-3. Yeah, it's always something. They're always trying to sell me all kinds of vitamins. Hey, this thing gets rid of this. This thing gets rid of that. I'm, I'm going to do everything. We're going to figure out our own health. In coconut oil specifically, that makes it so healthy for us. The main thing that separates coconut oil from all other oils and the main thing that makes it healthier than any other oil on the market are the medium chain fatty acids. The medium chain fatty acids have physiological effects that are different from other fats that promote health, that protect us from disease. Even more so than the monounsaturated fats like olive oil, for example? Now, olive oil has gotten a good reputation it sure has. as a, a healthy oil, but there is really no comparison to coconut oil. Coconut oil has it beat hands down no all the health. That, yes, definitely. That's amazing. How, how is that? Well, not only does it have the antimicrobial properties, but it's mm -hmm. easier to digest. There's lots of people that can't digest olive oil or other oils, but they can digest coconut oil. In addition, coconut oil also boosts energy, it lifts energy levels. Mm -hmm. So it's good for people who need more energy, want more energy in, in their life, or people who um, have trouble digesting foods. It's also great for uh, people who are interested in reducing weight. Oh, because it? It, it stimulates the metabolism and helps burn off excess calories. So coconut oil is actually used as a, a weight management aid. That's very interesting because the Mediterranean diet, that's the olive oil getting all the, the press, and the, the good ink, as it were. But coconut oil is superior? Coconut oil is far superior. I, I wouldn't even compare the two because all coconut right. oil has <laughs> far many health benefits. Wow, that's crazy that coconut oil has so many uh, things. And you know, the craziest part is I go back to, hey, you can rub coconut oil on your body and jump into a pool and it's supposed to get rid of like the chlorine that you absorb. So it's definitely uplifting. You can put it in your hair. There's so many things you can do with coconut oil. You dare ever use a massage gun on your neck because you can actually stop the blood flow from going to your brain. It's absolutely true. This is what you got to understand. If you're massaging your neck, you got to make sure you avoid the interior area here. And the reason for that is that you don't have much muscle in this area. You have a sternocleidomastoid, which is the muscle here, but then you have vessels such as the vein and the carotid artery. And what could happen with someone who has a high velocity, you know, massage gun, it could cause dissection, meaning the artery walls could dissect or rupture, and that could lead to a stroke. And I've seen strokes before in patients who have high velocity manipulation of their neck. And that's why it's important to avoid massaging the interior neck. 
because that could lead to a carotid dissection, that could lead to a stroke. And you probably heard of chiropractors essentially being sued because of high velocity manipulation in the neck area because they caused someone to have a stroke. This is almost the same idea. Causing any type of manipulation in the area where you have important structures is very dangerous and you should avoid. So this is what I would recommend. If you want to massage your neck, it's important to massage the back. Obviously you have muscles, the trapezoid muscles in the back, your shoulder muscles, those are fine to massage with a massage gun, but make sure you don't apply too excessive force. Make sure you use a light mode to prevent any injury there. Yo, this thing's got me freaking out, bro. I, sometimes, you know, you get that random neck pain. You're like, a massage feels good, but now I'm scared where to massage. Now I'm scared where to massage. A bee scientifically cannot fly with its body weight and the size of its wings. Cannot. It shouldn't. It shouldn't be able to. Right? True. But there's actually real things that are going on. They don't really just use their wings to flap air to fly what they're doing is they're using vibration to make themselves fly they're using frequency to make themselves fly you know when they put sand on a table and they play a certain hertz a certain frequency of of sound what happens to sand it creates like hexagons it creates like certain patterns mm -hmm. what is a honeycomb oh it's the same thing it's the same thing. It's hexagons, 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 hexagons. How do they make that shape? It's because of the vibration they're, they're moving oh, at. Now, why is honey literally the only, probably the only food naturally that doesn't go bad? Like fungus can't grow on it. It's so pure. It has all of these nutrients. It's very good for humans, very good for everyone. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't go bad and it stays so pure. What makes it that way? It's been blessed by the frequency of the bees. Damn. And it's put into that. People call it like sacred geometry. Yeah, That's what they call yeah. it. Oh, it's sacred that, geometry. The, the hexagon. Because the honeycomb is literally a hexagon. Yeah, yeah. When what they With do, they, throw, it, they yeah. throw up the pollen into the thing. And then they use their, their vibration to create it. Damn, I didn't know that. Yo, I didn't even think of this. This is crazy. This is crazy. I thought they didn't even make hexagons. They just made circles. And just because of like the way the pattern is, it just looks like it's hexagons. But interesting. This uh, And then at the end, there was that sacred life pattern. That just, Was that Terrence Howard's circle of life or the flower pattern circle? Flower? I don't know what he calls that pattern. Oh, boy. And then is honey just interdimensional? Is that why it's so good and bacteria-free? Some alien in another dimension is keeping the bacteria off the honey for us. And we're just like, oh, this tastes great. We can pre help preserve so many things with this. Got to start putting honey on our... Never mind. Never mind. All right, yeah, guys, you made it to the end. How'd you do? Quite interesting uh, videos this time around. Um, yeah, uh, my For You page is always fun. It's always fun. I can keep doing this forever, I feel. Um, there should be videos on the screen now. Click on either one of them. Continue your goon fix. The one in the middle, you can subscribe. I appreciate all the goons. I know the new format is killing you guys. But hopefully, we are growing and we continue to grow. I will see you guys next time. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Wake up, wake up, wake up.